All right, so this here video was requested by a viewer, uh, Mr. Austin Thornton. He wanted to know what I had going on with my Caltech PLR22. So that's what this is. I'm about to explain the few knickknacks that I put on the thing. Nothing fancy on anything, no trigger work or, you know, there's all kinds of stuff you can do with this gun, but I neglected to do some of it because I didn't think it was necessary. But I'll show you what I did do to it. So let's take a look at the thing. All right, the Keltec PLR 22 shoots 22 long rifle. Here's the four end in question. It's made by Midwest Industries, made in USA. It's a quad rail. And on the bottom of that quad rail, I decided to put the Strike Industries Cobra hand stop. They call it Cobra because it looks like a Cobra. See? See that? You see the resemblance? And you probably noticed this big ridiculous muzzle brake I got on this 22. I didn't put it on there to reduce recoil. I put it on there because of those nasty looking spikes at the end of it because if a 22 LR doesn't stop a threat well, these spikes are going to do the job I'm sure of it they really dig in look at that definitely put out some eyeballs with that I was eating that. Yeah, my apple. Any sane person would see this and run the other way. Well, they better if they know it's good for them. And well, that's made by FNN Tactical. I've did a lot of searching to find this. I found it on eBay and this was the only one at the time. If you want to find this you might have trouble finding it. And I went and put a ADE red dot for the optic. I think this one cost me about 60 bucks. They're pretty cheap, but they are very reliable, I find. I've never had a problem with reliability out of these red dots. And today I'm going to be running the CMMG magazine. Alright. Uh, so that's about it. I mean, there's really nothing much more to say about it. All right, now I'm just going to do some shooting. I got the magazine loaded with Remington Golden Bullet. I've never had a problem with this gun feeding any kind of 22 I've put through it. I've not yet tried the Quiet 22 Semi Autos though. I'm going to do that today. First I'm going to make room in this mag for them. All right, now that I made room in the mag for the Quiet 22s, let's go ahead and try them out. They're going about eh, about 400 feet per second slower than the Remington Golden Bullet. Let's see if they'll cycle through the gun. I'm not going to need ear protection for this. Okay, I tried to cycle, if you can see in there. It looks like we got a pretty deep bend in that casing. Shouldn't be a problem.
Okay, so this has been a look at my kel PLR-22 and all the accessories that I chose to put on mine. And I'd say, other than that second round jamming up, it ate up them quiet 22s pretty good. And you don't need the ear protection because they're so very quiet. Come to think of it, that last round I shot was a golden bullet, and it wasn't that loud either. So, I'm going to run a few more through it without ear protection. I'm out. All right? So that's all I got for you, okay? Is that good?